Ecuador, a country that has some of the most unique and diverse natural wonders of the world, is an exceptionally multicultural country with almost 45 different indigenous languages, as well as being home to one of the most diverse and incomparable traditional music genres of the planet. <laughs> In the past few years, Ecuadorian music has experienced an enormous impulse to be reborn from its ashes and give the world the possibility to listen to the amazing sounds it has to offer. Beautiful projects like the Taitas Imamas have paid their tribute to the ancestors of our musical culture, and artists like Juan Fernando Velasco have undertaken the rescue of the Basilio music style. This has inspired many musicians and composers to start rescuing their national identity and one of the most valuable parts of their heritage, our music. Hello, I'm Juan Fernando Cifuentes Moreta from Quito, Ecuador. This is my culminating experience for the MTI Master in Berklee College of Music Valencia, and it's called Ecuadorian Groups. Ecuadorian Groups was born in the spring of 2014. Its main goal was redefining and innovating Ecuadorian music by rescuing traditional genres and fuse them with contemporary genres, thereby creating new sounds for future generations. The main objective of this culminating experience was to produce an EP called Alma, that means soul, comprised of two original songs written using traditional Ecuadorian rhythms and two arrangements of folk songs, redefined with contemporary music elements, including hybrid composition and innovative technology. The second objective was to produce a live performance, focusing on the interaction between Ableton Live and a live ensemble, creating unique compositions that combine the organic sound of the musicians on stage with the new electronic sound design. I developed a lot of new skills in order to overcome different challenges working on this project. To name a few, I had to create new methods for me to compose and make the traditional melodies work with the Ableton Live environment. As taking accurate music production decisions among the common technical troubleshooting during the tracking sessions. Yeah, so somehow the software got overwritten, so now we should be all ready to go. But most of all, to lead and direct the live performance for the songs and make the ensemble group with the unnatural electronic environment. Okay. Yeah, like following the ch 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 yeah, uh -huh. that's perfect. This could be developed throughout the prototyping sessions for the MTI seminar and presenting the show in concerts like Innovation and Vivo. <laughs> the AES annual convention held in Warsaw.
For the mixing and mastering part of the project, I had to research and listen to a lot of references to get an excellent quality on the final part of the production. Also, a big concert was held on June 26 at Un Lago de Conciertos to make the public release of the EP obtaining a positive audience response. The breakthrough of the Ecuadorian music started many years ago when elderly musicians played live under the star-filled Ecuadorian skies and it keeps maturing with every musical spark of human talent combined with technology and respectful tradition. Esta tacita de tres.